Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Somerset County Public Schools Teacher of the Year virtual celebration and announcement. In an effort to keep everyone safe and healthy amid the pandemic, we bring this event to you virtually once again this year. We're optimistic that next year we can resume business as usual by making this announcement at our annual Teacher of the Year Gala. At least one silver lining is that more staff, families, and members of our community are able to see this announcement live, where we will honor eight teachers for their dedication to the students of Somerset County Public Schools and announce the 2021 Elementary, Secondary, and Overall Somerset Teacher of the Year. For those watching at home, if you're unable to see them all on your screen, we have our eight 2021 School Teachers of the Year with us this evening, and they are anxiously awaiting the results, just like you all are at home. I can say that this year, we have had some amazing teachers all competing for the district titles, and I know that it must have been very hard for our outside panel of judges to come to a final decision with so many quality candidates to consider. Congratulations to you all and good luck. I will now share my screen and I'm going to give Ms. Bartimi, Director of Schools, the honor of introducing and reading the School Teacher of the Year's professional biographies. I'm trying to present, here we go. Thank you, Vicki. Good evening to everyone. Thank you for joining our 2021 Somerset County Teacher of the Year virtual gala and celebration. I will be reading each school's Teacher of the Year bio in alphabetical order by school. And once they appear on your screen, I'll get started. All right, are you able to see it? Yes, Vicki, we are. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. First up, representing Carter G. Woodson Elementary School is Mr. Josh Davis. Josh is a fourth grade teacher, graduated from Salisbury University in 2012 with a bachelor's degree in elementary education. Josh began teaching second grade at Woodson Elementary in 2014. And now he is enjoying being that fourth grade teacher. After school hours, Josh coaches and leads the basketball teams at Woodson Elementary and he also coaches baseball for Crisfield Little League. Josh serves on both the wellness and the science committee as part of the school improvement team at Woodson. So let's all give Josh a big thank you for all he does for the students and Woodson community. Thank you, Josh. And next up from Crisfield Academy and High School is Mr. Logan Webster. He's a social studies teacher Graduated from Goucher College in 2014 with a bachelor's degree in history with a concentration in secondary education. In 2020, Logan received his master's in educational leadership from Salisbury University. While at Crisfield High School, he has created the Student Government Association, a junior varsity boys soccer team, and the Andrea Joyner Memorial Walk. He serves as a department chair of the social studies department and is a member of both the equity committee and the parent advisory committee for Crisfield High School. Most recently, Logan had an article published in a regional educational journal detailing how educators have overcome the challenges of the pandemic. Thank you, Logan, for everything you do for the students in the Crisfield community. Let's all give Logan a round of applause. Now, representing Deal Island Elementary School, Ms. Teresa O'Neill, pre-kindergarten teacher. Teresa earned a bachelor's degree in special education from the University of Maryland Eastern Shore in 1998 and a master's degree in education from the University of Phoenix in 2011. Currently, she is attending Liberty University and has earned a graduate certificate in autism education. At Deal Island Elementary School, she is on the PBIS and school improvement teams. At Deal Island, she is, she, Ms. O'Neill is act, also active in her community, especially in her church, and is an associate member of the Deal Island Lions Club. She has earned awards for Deal Island Fire Department for top responder as an EMT. She has also earned Ralph Hem Fellow Human, Humanitarian Service Award from the Delaware Lions Club, the American Cancer Society Relay for Life Award, 
the 2008 and 2009 Princess Anne Elementary Teacher of the Year. And so now let's all join together to say thank you to Teresa for everything she does for the students in the Island community. Thank you, Teresa. Now up from Greenwood Elementary School, Ms. Jennifer Nicholas, second grade teacher. Jennifer grew up in Fruitland, Maryland with her parents, Mike and Mary Nicholas, and her older sister, Christina, and her younger brother, Michael. Jennifer graduated from Parkside High School in 2010. Jennifer attended Salisbury University where she graduated with her bachelor's degree in elementary education in 2014. She continued her education at Salisbury University to obtain her master's degree in curriculum and instruction, completing her degree in 2018. Jennifer recently welcomed a baby boy in November of 2019. Jennifer's on the math school improvement team committee at Greenwood Elementary School. She is willing to help wherever is needed. Let's thank you. Give the thanks to Jennifer for everything she does for the students and community of Greenwood Elementary School. Yeah. Next up, representing Princess Anne Elementary School, we have Miss Kristen Davis. She's a media specialist. Kristen is the media specialist and the technology point of contact at Princess Anne Elementary. She earned a bachelor's in elementary education from Salisbury University in 1996 and a master's in instructional technology from Towson University in 2015. Ms. Davis serves on both the parent involvement and wellness committees. She also trains and assists staff members with technology initiatives, including virtual teaching, while also serving as a resource for parents in using technology. Kristen serves on the Safe Sanctuary Committee and as a teacher in Children's Church at Ayers United Methodist Church. She also serves on the Committee of for Boy Scout Troop 225. Thank you, Kristen, for everything you do for the community, your students, and school at Princess Anne Elementary. Let's give Kristen a round of applause. Now, representing Somerset County Technical High School, Mr. Christopher Park, IT network teacher. Christopher, Christopher is a graduate of Christopher High School and he attended St. Andrews Presbyterian College before attending Warwick Community College, where he majored in computer hardware and software. In December 2000, he graduated with his associate's degree in computer hardware and software. He later achieved his micro, Microsoft Certified Professional Certification, A Plus certif Certification, Network Plus Certification, and finally his Security Plus, including cybersecurity certifications. Chris began working as a Dell PC technician covering Delaware and Maryland before coming to Somerset County. He is now the Cisco IT Networking Academy teacher at Somerset County Technical High School. Thank you, Chris, for everything you do for the students and school at Somerset County Technical High School. Let's give Chris a round of applause. Yay. And now we have representing Somerset Intermediate School, Miss Randy Merritt, English and Language Arts and Social Studies teacher. Randy began her academic studies at Liberty University before transferring to Salisbury University where she graduated with her bachelor degree in elementary education in 1981 and a master's degree for reading in 1984. Randy received her instructional technology certification through the PBS capstone program. She also received Google education educator certificate levels one and two and participated in one awards in national history day competition. The state of Maryland has awarded Randy the 2018 Digital Showcase Award for successful infusion of technology in the classroom. Randy's community service includes volunteering, volunteering as an advanced EMT, CPR trainer, children's choir, and technological support at her church. Thank you, Randy, for everything you do for your community, your students, and the school at Somerset Intermediate. Let's give Randy a round of applause. And finally, last but not least, representing Washington Academy in high school, Mr. Stephen Smith, history teacher. Stephen is proud to represent Washington Academy in high school. He received his undergraduate degree in history and currently continues in their graduate program for educational leadership. Through his years at Washington, he served as both their football and softball coach. In addition to coaching, Stephen also organizes the school's National History Day program, where he assists students from different grades and helps them create engaging research projects to compete with at local, state, and the national level. Through his work with the History Day program, he has been selected as Somerset County's History Day Teacher of the Year twice and won Maryland's History Day Teacher of the Year in 2019. 
Stephen, thank you for everything you do for the students at Washington High School and your community. Let's give Stephen a round of applause. If we were in person, we'd be giving everyone a large round of applause at this point and a thank you. So again, thank you to all the teachers who are representing their schools. It's the 2021 Teacher of the Year. Good luck to each and every one of you. I know that you all are awesome and you will represent Somerset County Public Schools well. I'd like to turn now turn it over our program to Somerset County Public Schools Board Chairperson, Ms. Penny Nicholson. Thank you, Tracy. Good evening. On behalf of the Somerset County Board of Education, I am honored to share this special moment for a teacher who represents the best of our best. I bring congratulations from Mrs. Margo Green-Gale, Mr. Troy Brenningham Jr., and Mr. Caleb Shores to all of our talented nominees. I have said many, many times at board meetings, and my board colleagues concur, that we are blessed with the greatest teachers, not only in Maryland, but nationwide, especially when you look at the number of schools that remain closed because, teacher, because of teachers' unwillingness to return to the classroom. When our positivity rates came down to the level acceptable for return to in-person learning, our teachers came back willingly. For that, we are so proud of your commitment to your profession and to the students of Somerset County. We are in awe of what you do with so little for the children of Somerset County. You make our job easier knowing that we have competent, committed, caring, and talented teachers taking care of our students. We recognize that care extends beyond the normal classroom and that has surely been proved this last 14 months. You may not think you're making a difference, but you are. The children of Somerset County love you, and you are part of their extended family. And for many, they're shelter from the storms of their lives. This has never been demonstrated more than during this unprecedented epidemic that caused changes in the way you practiced your craft and may influence the way you teach for years to come. Your love for your students was also exemplified by reaching out to our students that you knew were having difficulty online and helping to deliver assignments and food packs when the bus was rolled. We also recognize the challenges you face teaching in a wildly populated socioeconomically challenged county, especially during these last 14 months. We recognize the challenges of budget constraints and testing accountability. If something good could come from this pandemic, it was education awareness. The Maryland legislature saved the Kerwin bill from the governor's veto. The Kerwin bill, which strives for equity and educational funding and resources throughout Maryland schools, which includes expansion of the poverty grants to allow for increase in new teacher salaries, mental health support positions, and special education support. I, like many of the other speakers this evening, hope that next year we can celebrate this important event with the camaraderie of past celebrations shared in person with your peers and special people that have been beside you in your journey. Also, I hope we will continue to open the event virtually so that those who cannot physically attend can share this special recognition. Your board wishes there could be more than one recipient and in our hearts, you are all deserving of this award. So the teacher, among so many wonderful nominees chosen tonight, should remember you represent your home school and all the teachers of Somerset County Schools. I know the candidate chosen will make us all proud. Congratulations and enjoy your journey ahead. Thank you very much. And now I'll turn the mic over to Dr. John Gaddis, Superintendent of Somerset County Schools. Thank you, Ms. Nicholson, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to a great celebration. I concur with everything Ms. Nicholson said and appreciate her words on behalf of the board. And I also thank the board for what they have done, not only in supporting our students, but in supporting our teachers as we have worked through this pandemic 
and this unprecedented time that we have all uh, experienced in the last 14 months. I too wish we were in person and hope that one day, know that one day we will be able to do this. And I simply want to say one thing to our eight very special nominees tonight, and that is thank you. Sometimes, many times, you don't hear that enough. Thank you for what you do every single day for all of our students. Thank you for working with them during the pandemic. Thank you for now working with those that are still at home and those that are back to face to face. Many times you don't hear that. You may not hear it from the community. You may not hear it from teachers. You may not hear it from anybody, but you are truly appreciated for everything that you do. I've spoken many times about the impact that teachers have in our lives. Each of us can think back to a time. We can think back to a teacher who truly impacted us when things were going on as we grew up, whether it was pre-K, whether it was grade six, grade nine, graduation, even in college, we had professors that left a profound impact on our lives. Every day you have the opportunity to do that. And every day you do exactly that. You make the world a better place. As our chairperson said, we understand the challenges that are in front of us and we face them standing up every single day. So thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you will continue to do. And we are honored to have you as part of our team. As Ms. Barnaby coined the phrase, we are small but mighty. We believe that our teachers not only have an impact in Somerset, but on the lower shore and across the state. As many, many organizations and folks look to us to be leaders. In fact, next Friday, our state superintendent will be in the county to observe what we have done to reopen our schools and what we are doing to not only help our adults, but our students recover from what we have gone through the last 14 months. It truly is an honor to be with you tonight. And I'm, I, I always say, and I mean it, this is my, the most special occasion for me because as a 32 year veteran and an eight year uh, superintendent in Somerset County, I still get excited because I hear what you do for the students. And I come to you and I, and I say thank you as a superintendent, but I also say thank you as a parent. And there is no more important job than any of us have than that of being a parent. And when you know you can turn to teachers and when you know you can turn to people like we have in our county and the eight people we have re represented tonight, it, it is indeed an honor to be with you. And again, thank you for everything that you have done. And now it is tr truly an honor for me to turn things over to our 2020 Teacher of the Year for her farewell remarks, Ms. Lauren Beecham. Lauren, take it away. Thank you, Dr. Gaddis. Um, I'm gonna begin by, by thanking everyone who has made this experience, wow, so, so special. Um, those at the board office, you, Dr. Gaddis, Mr. Davis, um, Ms. Mele for recognizing the teachers of the year, um, Mr. Taylor, who is now at Washington High, um, for their thoughtfulness and all their planning, all my fellow Woodson teachers, staff, students, and parents um, who have continued to give me positive support and make me feel special, my kindergarten team, Ms. Wilkins, Ms. Evans, Ms. Bivens, along with Sarah Ward and Lisa Upman, who helped me every day. Um, Ms. Pat Summers for her mentorship during the um, state competition, um, Jennifer Carey, Teresa Perdue, Lily Welch, and Sarah Daniels for wonderful letters of recommendation that brought tears to my eyes, for Sarah Perdue for an amazing Baby Yoda painting, <laughs> the school board and the Somerset Education Association for their continued support of teachers, the Somerset County Commissioners for a beautiful proclamation, to Hertrix for an amazing car, Photo Joe for wonderful photographs, including the one that's on the billboard. I would have never, ever thought my face would end up on a billboard. Um, the local newspaper writers for their um, positive support and showing of Teachers of the Year. To everyone who sent me cards, flowers, gifts, newspaper clippings, and offered kind and supportive words. Thank you to all the staff and teachers of Somerset County Public Schools for not giving up. We are all Teachers of the Year this year. 
and finally my family for their continued support. Um, I apologize if I forgot anyone. Um, so it's hard to believe that almost a year has gone by since I was named Somerset County's Public Schools Teacher of the Year and what a year it has been. Way back in September, I decided I needed a word, some sort of daily affirmation to inspire me and help me get through the school year. And the word I chose was together. It's displayed on a bulletin board in my kindergarten classroom where my morning meeting area used to be. And despite the social distancing necessary to stay safe right now, the word together has had significant meaning during the pandemic, especially when it comes to the relationship between schools and families. See, this pandemic created a very unique situation where it's been necessary for schools and families to work extremely close together to ensure that learning continues. When all of this is over, please let's continue our efforts to work together more closely with families and invite them into our classrooms just as they invited us into their homes. If we want to truly educate students and make a difference in their lives, we must do it alongside their families together. And as I was writing this speech and reflecting on my time as teacher of the year, I chose my word for next year, grow. I feel as though this pandemic has brought to light some important ways that education can change and grow. Students come to school every day expected to learn, but traumatic issues, including this pandemic, prevent them from reaching their true potential. If we do not address the trauma and continue to address only the behavioral issues that arise from trauma, a battle that even the greatest academic curriculum cannot win. In curriculum, with all this technology, it would be amazing to find more ways to personalize education, to build achievement on discovering the individual talents of each student, and to put students in an environment where they want to learn and where they can naturally discover their true passions. But this personalization should not end with students. Every teacher has their own talents and strengths that make them amazing. The flexibility to use use these talents and strengths should be readily available. And I think that this pandemic, as terrible as it is, has opened the door for change and more importantly growth. Our current teachers of the year are just the people to lead the way. In just a few minutes, in a time where there's so much uncertainty, what a great opportunity and time to be a positive leader and influencer. You have all been chosen as your school's teacher of the year because you represent the best. You are all very deserving of the time and to be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations and good luck. I know you'll do a great job and represent us well. Now back to Dr. Gaddis with the big announcement. Lauren, thank you so much. It's that's so, that was excellent. Thank you. And I and I like the whole idea of grow. There are positives that came out of this pandemic. And if we forget the negatives and we can all grow from what happened and take the positives, that is fantastic. Thank you for your kind words. So here's how this is gonna go. Um, I don't have the big envelope like normal, uh, but I do have the results. And, and what I'm going to do is read a slide that I have in front of me, and then we'll try and time it as we go through. What I will do first is the elementary teacher of the year, and then the secondary teacher of the year, and then uh, we'll give those two candidates a little bit of time um, where I have some other words I wanna say, some thank yous, and then I'll announce the overall teacher of the year. So with that said, let's hop to it. The 2021 Somerset County Elementary School Teacher of the Year is Miss Teresa O'Neill, pre-K teacher, Deal Island Elementary School. Teresa, congratulations and thank you for everything that you do uh, for the students of Deal Island, but also for your community at large. And uh, it is an honor to have you as our elementary school teacher of the year. And we'll act like we're giving you your beautiful plaque right now, which we will deliver to you down at Deal Island. So Teresa, congratulations. Okay. This is a lot quicker online. <laughs> the it is my honor to present the 2021, the 2021 
2022 Somerset County Secondary School Teacher of the Year is Mr. Logan Webster, Social Studies Teacher, Crisfield Academy and High School. Logan, the same to you. Congratulations for everything you do. We appreciate both you and Teresa for the passion you have for our students and for everything that you do uh, in the classroom, on the field, and in the community as well. So at this point, while we're giving Logan and Teresa some time to uh, get their thoughts together before the big announcement, I want to make sure um, I specifically want to thank our judges who come from a, a variety of walks who did the uh, Teacher of the Year judging. I want to thank Vicki Mealy, who has been in charge of this process and setting everything up. I also want to thank Tracy Bartomey, Director of Schools, Tom Davis, Deputy Superintendent, uh, for their support of the program. Behind the scenes, we're learning how important that is. John Berlin, our Supervisor of Technology, for keeping everything going and for uh, making sure the YouTube channel is up and running and and uh, making sure we get this out to everybody. Um, so that's enough stalling. Uh, it is now. Dr. Gaddis, you're muted. Oh no, was all that on mute, Tom? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was the most incredible speech. Well, let me go through it again. I apologize. Oh, I know it's terrible. I just wanted to thank you. Didn't hear the thank yous. We heard the thank yous. Oh, okay. So I hit it when I moved my papers. Okay. A little drama to keep this thing going. So uh, again, congratulations to Teresa and Logan. And it's my honor to present to you and to the world the 20. 21 Somerset County Teacher of the Year is Mr. Logan Webster, Social Studies teacher, Crisfield Academy and High School. Logan, congratulations. Uh, take a couple seconds, get yourself together, and then you can come on live and uh, give your formal acceptance speech. Whew. Uh, I, I wrote something, but it's hard for me to, uh, man, this is, uh, this is special right now. Thank you so much, Dr. Gaddis. Um, there's so many people uh, to thank that I'm certain that I'm going to forget someone. Um, I have to start by thanking, whew, sorry, the person that motivates me and drives me to be the best that I can be each and every day. Um, my beautiful, amazing wife, Jess, she puts up with so many nights in which I didn't come to bed until after midnight because I always find a way to bring work home with me. Uh, further, my two and a half year old daughter, Lainey, my two month old son, Brooks, provide inspiration to create the next generation of educators and professionals that will make learning exciting for them. Um, thank you to my family. <coughs> to my mom and dad for always being there for me and encouraging me <clears throat> and pushing me to be the best I can be since I was born. Forever grateful for the work ethic that you instilled in me and for putting up with us for the last two months with a newborn and a toddler where, while our new house was being readied. Um, my brother, Stefan, sister, Ashley, sister-in-law, Trené, brother-in-law, Bill, for always checking up on me and helping me strive for greatness. My father-in-law, Greg, <clears throat> mother-in-law, Kimmy, and brother-in-law, Aaron. You've been in my life for the last 14 years, so you've seen and experienced every part of my teaching journey. Thank you for all that you do to make mine and my family's life easier. To my grandparents on all sides, your continued support and messages about how proud you are only makes me want to work harder at achieving my next goal. From that long list, you can tell that family is everything to me <clears throat> and drives me to be a better version. <clears throat> of myself each day that I wake up. I love you all. I also have several people to thank that were influential in getting me to this point in my life. So the person who made me want to become a teacher, <clears throat> Mr. Vickers, I dreamed of one day teaching the course that you made me fall in love with. 
I'm proud to say that I've been teaching AP US history for the last three years. <clears throat> Thank you for making the light bulb go off and turning your teenager interested in history into Somerset County Teacher of the Year. To my guidance counselor and coach, Mr. Brian Holloman, who is not even my assigned guidance counselor, but has such a strong care for me that he ensured that all my FAFSA and college app documents were completed on time. Thank you for showing me that caring adults in a school building look like. To my longtime soccer coach and the man I call my second dad, Mr. Andy Hall, thank you for always being a part of my family. Your phone calls and random visits to the house just to check up on everyone mean the world to us. To my college soccer coach, Brian Lott, who still plays a major role in my life seven years later and has the same vision and desire to help young students fulfill their dream of going to college. Individuals like these four have inspired me to look at a career in education as more than objectives and standards and focus on each student's future goals and aspirations. To my Crisfield Crabbers family, I'm blessed to have spent my entire teaching career at Crisfield Academy in high school. Thank you to the amazingly supportive and awesome administration team of Mr. B, Mr. Hale, and Mr. Bosman. To the coworkers who have become more like family, Harold Frock, Keisha Evans, Vestina Davis, Heather McHenry, Anna Breland, Dr. Warren, Josh Wyatt, Aaron Walbert, Brandon Austin, Paige Delaney, the list continues on and on, and the entire CHS staff. Thank you for your continued support, encouragement, assistance, and listening ear. It's amazing to me what our school accomplishes as a team, and I'm forever grateful to be a staff member at CHS. Thank you to all of the students and athletes I've had the honor and privilege of teaching and working with, both past and present. You are the reason I'm excited to wake up and go to work every single day. Finally, thank you to Dr. Gaddis, Mr. Tom Davis, Ms. Tracy Bartomey, the Board of Education, for all that you do to make Somerset County Public Schools the greatest county to work in. And a special thank you to Social Studies Supervisor, Ms. Jill Holland, for always finding time to help me or other Social Studies teachers in need. You are amazing, and I don't understand how you have any hours to sleep with all that you do. With all the thank yous out of the way, I have just one small message, a challenge actually. I challenge every educator, whether you're watching from Somerset County or another county to think of at least one student, maybe more, that you work with that needs some good news. Once you've thought of that student, grab a note card or something simple to write on and write that student a handwritten note telling them using specific observations that you've seen from them, the greatness that you see in them. <clears throat> this is such a, a simple gesture, but it's something that sticks with students forever as they will never forget that a caring adult sees them, believes in them, and wants them to succeed. I began doing this several years ago, <clears throat> and several of my students recently told me that they still have that note and look at it often for motivation throughout their life. I hope that your students will do the same with this simple yet significant gesture. Our students need to know that we believe in them now more than ever. So much in education has changed since the pandemic, but the one thing that has stayed constant and continues to yield success is a student who feels loved, cared for, seen, and heard will be motivated to achieve greatness. No job is more powerful as Dr. Gaddis said more exciting or more rewarding than the job we have as educators. Thank you, Somerset County Public Schools for giving me the opportunity to represent our small but mighty county as teacher of the year. Thank you. Dr. Gaddis, did you uh, want Ms. O'Neill to also Say a few words. Sure, Teresa, go ahead. Well, you know, anyone that knows me knows that I do not like words. <laughs> and uh, I have to say this because, you know, I'm listening at, at Logan Webster and that is just such an amazing uh, speech that he's made, I know he's just going to make us so proud. And to listen to your speeches and your announcements and your kindness to me, everyone on this screen, 
And uh, let me just, can I just share with you what I read, um, what I what I had written? Um, first of all, I do want to thank Dr. Gaddis and, and Tracy Barnaby, Tom Davis, and the judges, because to be considered, uh, even considered to be Somerset County uh, Public Schools Teacher of the Year is a great honor. And to be nominated to be our Elementary School Teacher of the Year is a great honor for me. So with the 19 years, I have had the privilege of working with the best teachers and paraprofessionals anywhere. And I have seen firsthand the heroes in action, especially this past year. I saw the stress of our teachers and staff as we sat glued to the computer screen, waiting to hear Dr. Gaddis's weekly briefings, sometimes uh, daily briefings. But when the tough got going, but when the tough, but when the going got tough, here we go, the tough got going. And I can hear my principal, Mr. Gibson's word, words reverberate throughout my school community. He would say, you can do it. You can do it. You've got this. And sometimes you may ha have even entertained, the teachers have even, may even entertain those thoughts of leaving the pr profession, but you, but you didn't, I didn't. And you know one of the reasons why? <laughs> now this is me saying this because I can call these names out. This is the truth. I saw before me the faces of the students that I would leave. And I said to myself, I need to do this for Casey, for Matthew, for Daniel, for Rose, for Ellie, for Brantley, for Avery, for Kayler, for Arush. I need to do it for Jasmine and Abel and Price. And I know who my heroes are, and I stand very humble to accept this award of Elementary Teacher of the Year. I really do. And, you know, my, my sister, while I'm sitting here, my sister Wanda, who's the secretary at Deal Island School for 50 years, she was calling me to, to congratulate me. And I'm thinking, okay, Wanda's probably got her tissues now. <laughs> Rachel Beecham, Jill Todd, my buddies at the school, but I'm, I'm very thankful and very fortunate that God had placed me in this position to be in this profession. You know, it is, a, a, it's a great honor. And thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Teresa, and thank you for that. And, and uh, you're right. It's, uh, it, we've all gone through quite a bit through all this. And uh, in the end, as Logan said, it's all about what we do for our students. And, and in the end, I told them at our luncheon, cream rises to the top and, and that's what's happened. And so we're honored. We appreciate everybody um, that is honored by their school and, and you should uh, and have been celebrated in that way. And so we look forward now to uh, Logan, we call it the prom. Uh, I'm sure it'll be it'll be uh, the gala that happens in Baltimore uh, and Martin's West is really a, a, a neat event and uh, we look forward to you and we'll be working with you on your packet for state teacher of the year um, and so from uh, from that standpoint um, we're very excited so with that said Vicki I'm turning it over to you to close thank you Dr. Gaddis and congratulations again to our runner-up, Ms. Teresa O'Neill, and our new Somerset Teacher of the Year, Mr. Logan Webster. Logan, I, I echo what Dr. Gaddis had to say. I look forward to working with you very soon as you've just become our 2022 Maryland Teacher of the Year candidate from Somerset County. And I also have the pleasure of telling you that you have your very first media interview as Somerset Teacher of the Year tomorrow with Lisa Bryant, co-host of WBOC's Delmarva Life, and I will be in touch with you about, uh, about that after we finish here. Um, before we conclude, I would like to thank the following people for their contributions to the 2021 Teacher of the Year program. 
our school administrators and their school-based teacher of the year committees and our 2020 school teachers of the year who chair those committees. They organize the program at their school and they assist with the overall planning of the district teacher of the year program. Thank all of you for your, for your hard work. You make me look good and you help me out a lot. So I want you to know that you're appreciated. I'd also like to thank the Somerset Education Association for their generous support and gifts for our teachers of the year this year and our teacher of the year judges. Uh, they are Mr. Craig Mathias, Mrs. Pat Summers, Dr. Sharon Clark, Mr. Ernest Satchel, Dr. Lori Henley, and Ms. Joan Devaney. Our judges, some of them having served on our panel for years, have volunteered hours and literally hours of their time and played such an instrumental role in our selection process. So we appreciate you. Thank you very much. So congratulations to everyone and all of the school teachers of the year. Once again, this will conclude our program. I encourage those watching at home to visit our YouTube channel since you're already here uh, to go ahead and view our photos and videos of our 2021 school teachers of the year. You will be able to see the impact that all of our teachers have made with our students and on our community. So thank you everyone and good night.